The Z-Pax R-Call Zip is not new. In fact, it's been around for quite a few years now. Its innovative arc design, external frame, and ultralight status has made it a favorite amongst backpackers looking to go as light as possible without sacrificing comfort and functionality. With its attention to detail, durable lightweight water-resistant fabric, and customizable options, the Arcall Zip 64-liter pack seems to offer everything that I was looking for for my first thru-hike. After a few shakedowns and figuring out what I didn't want, will the Arcall Zip 64-liter pack end up being the one? Hey guys, I am on my way to pick up my latest piece of gear. It kind of was um, after doing some shakedowns and messing with some stuff with my other pack, I decided to get a new pack. Luckily, I live right down the road from Z Packs, so that's where we're going today. Okay, guys, here is the first look at my new pack. It's a little twisty at the moment. It's super light. I cannot believe how light this thing is. This is the Z-Pax Arc Haul Zip, and it is the 64 liter. So when we get this home, we will take a look at it and I'll tell you all about it. As you know, I have been preparing for my trip to Scotland, which is actually coming up really close. It's like I'm getting super anxious now and I'm having to dial stuff in really quickly. I have gone on several shakedowns over the last several weeks and I've learned quite a lot about the gear that I had planned to take with me, um, which is the reason for doing shakedowns. You can shake all the bugs out, see what works and what doesn't. And I have gone and done it again. I have changed another piece of my big three. I know, right? <laughs> like I've already done that and I've done it a couple times. Um, I changed out my tent from what it originally was. If you haven't watched that video, go back and check that out. And I also switched out my backpack. I originally was going to hike with the Gossamer Gear Mariposa uh, 60 liter pack. And it turns out I got the wrong size. Went ahead and I passed that on to someone else. And then I started hiking with the REI Flash 55 which was super comfortable. It was very comfortable, fit really well. But then I discovered 55 liters is not enough for me. The pack is also quite heavy. There are also a couple of other things that I didn't like about it. Those things you can go back and actually see me talk about them in my previous video, takedown number three. Here is my Z-Packs Arc Haul Zip 64 liter <laughs> backpack. It is the, what color is it? It's the, is it slate blue? I'm trying to remember the color. I think it's slate blue. I wanted black, but black was all sold out. Um, they also had orange. I think they had green. Um, and this is the blue one. I really like it. It is 64 liters. There's a look at it. Um, I'm going to show it to you next to the Flash 55 so you can get an idea of the size. Now keep in mind, the Flash 55 has nothing in it and the Arcall Zip has most of my stuff in it. So let's take a look. So today is about unpacking everything out of the Flash 55 and trying to arrange it in the Z-Packs Arcall Zip 64 liter pack that I just purchased. So far, I really like it. I purchased extra for the pack. It's about to fall over. Um, I purchased extra this side pocket, the strap for bear canisters. I won't be needing the bear canister in Scotland, but I will be using it, you know, when I'm back here. And at some point in the future, I do hope to hike the PCT and this will be super handy as I will need a bear canister there totally neglected to notice that there are no zipper pockets <laughs> on the pack. So I have gone back on Z-Pack's uh, website and ordered one. I ordered one 
um, that is supposed to clip on there. And I have been playing around with water bottles in these really large side pockets. We put my, um, my water filter and collection bags and stuff in here. I have a Gossamer Gear water bottle holder that I'm going to be using on this pack. It should fit because the straps go around. This particular pack, I do like it. It's just a little bit heavy and it fits wonderfully. It's very comfortable. It's just a little bit heavy, but there are a couple of things that I didn't like about it. I do believe I talked about it in a previous video. REI offers a one year return and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, and return this one. Today, I've got this pack loaded, not with everything, but with almost everything that I will be taking. It is quite comfortable. The concern that I had regarding this pack was this part right here. If you look at how it fits people on their website, it is it does come up to the back of your head. So with this, arch here it kind of points right into the back of my head so I don't know how I'm going to feel about that what I might do is put something soft up there I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to be bringing my foam pad that's another subject I may cut down my foam pad just to like torso length and put it underneath my thermarest pad because temps in Scotland right now are quite cold overnight I'm going to be there in a few weeks I don't know if it's going to warm up enough so people have suggested to me that I may want to bring a little bit of extra insulation. So I may be doing that, in which case I'll have something soft behind my head. So I don't know, we'll figure that out. Looking at it from the back, and it is tilted just a little bit, you can tell the size difference. This is an extra small, and this is a small. This is the smallest version of the Arcall zip that you can get. Um, but it is a roll top pack, so this rolls out quite a bit more. This is also a roll top pack. So you've got all of this extra, but as it turns out, it just wasn't enough for the stuff that I normally carry. So I found myself struggling. In and of itself, it is a very comfy pack, but this weighs 2.2 pounds, nine ounces, empty. And this weighs, I believe, 25 ounces total. So... One of my favorite things I love about this pack is this. You can open it like a suitcase. So if you need something in the middle or the bottom, you don't have to take every single thing out to get to it. So fantastic. Also has two of these straps here that can compress and hold things down, which is awesome. And the front pocket is not just stretchy mesh. It actually has a zipper and it is pretty large in volume. So you could put a lot of things in here. So that I love as well. Also love the fact that it has these um, carry straps on the bottom. You could put trekking poles, your pad, pad or foam pad or whatever anything you could think of to compress down in there and these straps are adjustable. It's not on the bottom of the pack so that when you sit your pack down on the ground you're not sitting it on top of stuff. It's actually on the front. So major plus. Okay so you can see in there on the inside of the pack Everything is seam sealed. It's kind of shiny material underneath. Um, so the internal um, lining of the pack is, I believe they said waterproof. So I will double check on that. Now I have used um, compactor bags inside packs before and I find them very awkward. So I did purchase this Osprey pack cover 
for the Flash 55, but it does fit this pack as well. So as extra protection, because they do suggest a pack liner bag or some type of waterproof bag for your down items or things you don't want to get wet um, in this pack. So I will be using this. Another thing about this pack that is really cool is the hip belt. They are interchangeable. You can actually remove them. For instance, if you lose any weight or gain some weight and you need a different size, you can remove it and attach another one. I actually really like these V straps here on the front. These are really cool. I've not seen these on a pack before. Um, doesn't mean they don't exist somewhere. But I've not seen them. I think they're really cool. There is, okay, so this strap right here comes with the pack. This V strap up here, the bear, um, for the bear vault that I have, the bear canister, that I had to purchase separately and had them install. Um, it is removable as is this strap, which comes standard on the pack. So it's just like, one strap that goes over like that. That comes standard, but I wanted the V strap because I do use a bear canister and I'm hiking here in Florida. So the back of the pack here, you'll notice it is, let me see if you can see it. Is a, it is an external frame pack. It does have an arc to it to allow for airflow between the pack and your back. This mesh is movable. You can move it up and down. These I actually extended out to allow more room. When I got the pack, they were compressed smaller. The side pockets tilt forward for ease of grabbing your water bottle or whatever other item you want to put in here. And according to the website, there is a drain hole in the bottom. I purchased this additional tops. I think it's called a top side pocket to put some items in for a quick you know, things that I needed to quickly grab or things that I didn't have another place for in the pack. I just thought it would be a cool thing to have an additional pocket or two. It is removable. You can take it off. Um, and you can also, you don't lose the functionality of the side of the pack here with the straps. I'm able to put my umbrella, tent poles, um, trekking poles, whatever you want to put in here and it fits right behind it. So that's cool. Shoulder straps are 3 8 inch foam padding with mesh on the back. They are very well cushioned. They feel really nice. There is, here you go, we've got loops all the way down. Several different areas to hook things to. Load lifters come standard on the pack. The sternum strap is also removable. You can take it off here and move it up or down and adjust it as necessary. It seems to be quite a well thought out piece of gear. Like it seems like they thought of just about everything with this pack, which is what I like about Z packs. They really do pay a lot of attention to detail and comfort. One thing that did concern me when I tried the pack on was how high this comes up behind your head. You know, with the load lifters engaged all the way, it does pull this down a little bit closer to the back of your head. But if I've got a bear canister or something on top of here, I'm going to have something behind my head anyway. And that's just a personal thing with me. I usually feel weird if I can feel something on the back of my head, but you know, I'm gonna have to get used to that. I have yet to take this out on a hike so i will be doing that this weekend i'll be loading it up with all my gear adjusting it trying to make sure i get everything just so and try it out on trail and see how it goes it is surprisingly light it says on the website it has the capacity to carry two two-person tents and five to six days of food so that is pretty impressive All right, so good news, my phone does fit in here very well. So, yay, super happy. Well, I've gotten home and I've attached the zipper shoulder pocket to my backpack and it was actually very easy. I got a little stressed out because I'm like, okay, it's got this 
rubber band on the back. Like, how am I going to get that over there without disassembling my backpack? This is very easy to unthread and rethread. So you just pull it right out and you can rethread it. And it was very easy. So I slid it up and it has this little hook there. And it also has a little hook on the bottom. So I hooked it right above the sternum strap and there we go it's on there really well you can see how it's made on the inside there you go got a little pocket in the front where you can put like a protein bar or snack or something you wanted to easily access um put your phone in there phone will fit in there phone will also fit in here so and here is the kit belt pocket same thing it has the little rubber band thing so you just slide it over and where is it focus focus there you go little hook with a loop there and hook in this loop right here so it's on there really good here's a look inside it it's very lightweight very tough and that's it so they're both on there really good and I'm happy with it. I put them on the opposite side from my shoulder pocket. Also, um, I am right-handed. I like to be able to reach and grab things with my right hand. So I decided to put it on this side. That's just my personal preference. You can put it on either side. You see you have the loops right there on that side as well as that side. And same thing over here. You can put it wherever you want. I plan on putting my Garmin over here. So there you go, all set. So there she is, guys. Got my trekking poles, my umbrella. Tent poles are also in there. We're gonna take it out this weekend and try it out. I will let you guys know how it works. Stay tuned for that video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.